Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, we finally got a fairly moderate day in Idaho today, and even there's not even quite as much smoke as there's been the past few weeks. Uh, it's not gonna last. By this weekend, it's supposed to get up to 109, so I'm taking advantage of a decent day to fly. Uh, I've got the Holy Stone HS900. Uh, Sir, HS900 Sirius, I should say. Better get the whole name in there. Uh, this is a drone that, uh, if you follow my channel, uh, you can you can look at the playlist for this drone. Uh, the initial one that they sent me, I had some problems with some connection problems and other things, uh, but all of that's been corrected now, and I've got uh, uh, one that works quite well. So what I've not had a chance to do is try out any of the intelligent flight modes. I had it over at the Oregon coast. We took a flight out with that, and then we did a comparison with this drone and the uh, the Potensic Atom, uh, two drones that can compare very favorably. Uh, so uh, I thought we would take a look at the intelligent flight modes on this drone today. Uh, I know it's got some versions of quick shots. Uh, like DJI has. I know it's got a tracking function. Other than that, I'm not sure. So we'll just dig through the menu and, and see what we can find. So uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air and let's see if we can try uh, some of their intelligent flight modes out. Okie dokie. I've got the drone fired up and uh, let's click on go fly and 93% battery. I just charged this fully. Don't know why it shows that. 24 satellites. So we're ready to go. Hey, I want to tell you, I uh, this is my second time around trying this. I tried it a couple of minutes ago uh, with uh, with another battery. I just slipped a new battery in it, and I could not get the quick shots to work. I couldn't get them to select me. I stopped. I went through the manual. I watched Holly Holy Stone's video on the subject. I was doing everything right. I don't know what's going on. We'll try it again. But let's look through the safety menu here real quick. Uh, yeah, uh, we're in stable mode. Let's click it up to normal. That's a faster flight speed, max altitude 120 meters, which is what we want. Uh, not asking for any calibrations. Uh, return to home altitude, 35 meters, which is plenty for what we're doing. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to uh, video mode. And uh, we are shooting in, well, let me show you that real quick. We are going to shoot in uh, fluently. We want to click the record rate. Well, you know what? I'm not worried about video quality, so we're going to leave it on 50 uh, megabits. Maybe that'll help it out a little bit. I don't know. But uh, 4K 30 and 16 by 9 is our transmission. So let's go ahead and start recording. And, uh, and let's go ahead and do an auto takeoff on the, on the app. Excuse me. Uh, click that and then off the drone goes and you know you can see it I, my hands are completely off the sticks you see it moving up and down there it's uh, it's sinking I, that, I've noticed that with this drone I don't know if it's uh, barometer or what but you can see it sinking there I was turning it around I wasn't pushing up or down on the stick it's almost land, it's almost on the ground and I'm not touching the sticks so, uh, so anyway, let's pick it up and, and move it in here a little bit. Give you a look at the drone. Uh, rock it back and forth there a little bit. It's hard to keep it at a uh, at a given height because it it likes to it likes to move around. Yeah, there it's sinking, and I'm not touching the up and down stick. Uh, but anyway, I think you can still see it there. Let's do our let's do our manual droney. Uh, reverse and up now. Reverse and up. So there we go. Good picture of the drone. It actually flies pretty good. You know, it's only when it's at low altitude there that you notice that it uh, kind of moves up and down in altitude. Let's bring it back in here real quick. And bring it back into the camera and we'll start those quick shots and we'll see, I'll see if I can get it to work a little better this time. Okie dokie, I'm gonna uh, walk back out into the sun here to give it a good chance to uh, to see me and uh, then we're going to see if we can uh, uh, drop that camera down a little bit and see if we can get it to select me so this is what I had problems with before so I'm those on the left hand side you see those three boxes and that O. we're clicking on that uh, and then we're going to click on the middle one which is quick shots and we have gradual retreat which is a droney let's try that first 
And you can see it tells me to click the plus or select a target. And that's the problem I had last time is the matter. And it, the drone's just moving up and down by itself. I'm not touching the sticks. Let's see if we can draw that picture. It will not. I can't get it to select a target. And I've tried farther away, close. I don't know. Let's point the drone the other direction. Maybe is it pointing into the sun or something that it doesn't like? I don't know. Let's go. I've got the... Uh, I'm looking into the sun now and the sun is at the drone's back. Let's try that. And I can click that plus and it does nothing. Let's see if we can... Yeah. And the, and the drone is dropping down. <laughs> I'm not touching the sticks and it's just moving around. Let's move it back a little bit, give it a little more distance, and then let's try it. Clicking that plus sign does nothing. Yeah. Uh, again, so you know, I, I watched their, uh, their tutorial. Uh, you know, they, they were probably further away from their subject, but they were no higher than that. Let's, uh, let's move it back a little bit and see if that helps. Maybe that makes a difference. I don't know. Got that plus sign right on me. Yeah, I don't know. It's not selecting me. So you know what I'm going to do? Let's, uh, let's fly it out uh, over the, uh, the pond out here. Let's see if we can find something else that we can, uh, that we can look at maybe and, uh, and see if that'll work. So, yeah, and I'm already getting some, boy, I, the, uh, I'm getting some real stuttering on FPV here. My phone is in airplane mode. Uh, my mic is not transmitting, so I don't know about that either. So let's go out here and uh, let's get down here. We can see, see if I can get on the... Uh, on the fountain here, let's select the fountain as a target. Yeah, no, that doesn't work, does it? You know, guys, for whatever reason, uh, mine just does not does not work in that regard. So, I got one more thing I can try here. Let's uh, over here. We've got the. Uh, We've got the uh, the uh, pi the picnic, or excuse me, the uh, the band shell and a sculpture. So let's see if we can uh, select that. Maybe we can get a big item like that. So let's click on that plus. Nothing. Trying to draw a box. Nothing. Yeah. You know what? I, I have no clue. Uh, but it's pretty clear we're not going to get that to work. So uh, don't know why. Uh, I wish I did, but. Uh, on, on this particular drone, uh, I just cannot select a target. Uh, so, uh, I did have more success selecting a target with uh, the follow me mode. So, let me, uh, let me get out of, uh, let me bring it back to us for one thing. And then we're going to we're gonna get into a different mode here. So, I am going to get out of that. How do we get out of Yeah, we're going to unselect that. No. Okay, so we're out of that mode. Uh, and it did stop recording. So let me start recording again. And let's bring it back to us. And uh, we'll, we'll try some tracking and see how that works. Those quick shots, if, if anybody knows how to make them work, what I'm doing wrong, let me know. Uh, like I said, I watch their tutorials and uh, there's nothing in the instruction booklet that tells you how, how they work, but they do have a tutorial on it, a video tutorial. If you click on the, uh, the uh, tutorial thing in the app here, it takes you to a video tutorial. Uh, I watched that, it seemed to be the way I was doing it. So, so I don't know. I don't. I have, like I said, I, I don't know why it wouldn't work for me, but it uh, clearly it wouldn't. Uh, 
So you guys saw that and I've, I tried it with the last battery and I tried it with this one. So enough of that noise. Let's, uh, let's get the drone up higher here so that we're above the trees and drop that gimbal down. And I'm going to get in the shade here so I can see my screen a little bit. Well, no, I don't want to do that because I want to be able to select myself. So I'm clicking on those three squares in the circle again, and I'm going to click on that uh, uh, smart follow, it says. So we're clicking on that. I'm going to draw a box around myself and not nope, missing target. So it may need to be a little closer. I got to be higher than these trees, so I can't, uh, I can't get too close. Yeah, so let's do follow, and uh, it should follow me here. So let's just walk straight this way in between these trees, and, uh, and it's following me, and it's got a parallel version too, where it will follow you in parallel. Now it's funny how it selected me, no problem there, but wouldn't do it in the quick shot mode. So I don't know. Uh, if you were able to get that work to work on your drone, uh, maybe you can let me know why it didn't work for me. Uh, let's see, I also want to go, I didn't want to do that, I want to, whoop, <laughs> I want to try and get to the, yeah, there we go, I wanted to get to the attitude indicator on the screen. So uh, let me see if I can push the drone backwards, and I can as I walk forward. So the other thing they say it'll do is it'll use kind of like, uh, It'll keep you as a point of interest, so I should be able to fly around myself, and it is. That's kind of handy. It's keeping me right in center of frame as I fly around. Again, uh, what I'm going to tell you is be aware because uh, it, 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 this thing does not have any obstacle avoidance, so it, you can fly it right into a, into a tree or something. So. If I'm a little tentative here, that's why. And the way this drone uh, tends to go uh, up and down in altitude, that's, that's a pretty handy feature right there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that works. Uh, that's nice to know that something works. We can also, uh, I, let me see if I can get it to go in parallel here. I think I've got it high enough that uh, we can try that. I'm going to push it back here. Let's see if it'll follow me back. And then in parallel mode, it should follow me from the side. What I'm afraid of, though, is that it might lose me because of these trees as I walk, uh, walk to the side. But let's stop. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this in parallel. Uh, I'm going to cut out a big portion there where I had my, I'd taken my phone out of airplane mode. I got it back in. So let's do that. We're going to click parallel and we're going to walk across the street here. Now target lost. So it must need to be, you know, it probably needs to be a little bit closer. The problem is I have to keep also keep it above these trees. So let's try that again. Parallel, no nope, target lost. Parallel, okay. Let's see if it can hold me here. And I'm keeping a good eye on the drone. So when you put a follow me drone, and you can see it's it's right above that tree. Yeah, and it's it's probably lost me. Yeah, it lost me, and I was afraid it would uh, with those kind of obstructions. Uh, but if I was in an open field, I'm sure it would have it would have stayed with me. Uh, uh, you know, the problem is that because this, I was watching it just. Uh, you know, I told you how this thing uh, just uh, uh, loses altitude. It was losing altitude. It was right over that tree, and it was dropping right into the tree. <laughs> Good thing I saw it. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, I guess the only other thing I can think of to try here, and it really, we really don't have, man, this thing, it, you just, you can't keep it at an altitude, it just drops. So I'm just going to tell you, make sure you're in an open area with this guy, because it moves up and down like crazy. Uh, so at this point, uh, I don't see much point, we, you know, we proved that the uh, 
that the tracking does work. Uh, there is also time lapse in here. Uh, we can try a quick time lapse. There isn't really much here to look at. Let me pick up the camera and let's just see if we can see how that works. I did not see a tutorial for that. We're going to point it over here uh, towards the clouds and maybe we'll see some cloud action. I don't know, but let's try time lapse and see if we, yeah, so there, yeah. So uh, shot time, three second interval. Yeah, we don't need that many. Let's take it. Yeah, we're just going to do a fairly short one. This is going to be a three second one. So let's go ahead and start. And it's going to take it three minutes even to do that. And then it dropped out of the, uh, for whatever reason, dropped out back to the uh, main screen. So it's taking shots. It's doing what it's supposed to do. That's very much like DJI. So hopefully we'll see some cloud movement. I don't know if those clouds are moving or not, but uh, we'll just do a really short time lapse here. Uh, but it seems to be doing it. It's going to take 75 shots and we're only down to 10. So uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to shut up and I'll see you when we get close to the end of it here. Okay, we're down to five shots left here. You can see 16% battery, so we timed that almost perfectly. What I don't know is whether this, whether the app stitches it all together into a time lapse. There, we're just about done. Yeah, there is this is the last one. And it doesn't say if it's putting it together in a time lapse or not. Just took us back to the main screen. So we'll find out. I'll, uh, I'll put it up on the screen right now so you guys can see it. Hopefully we had some cloud movement there. Okie dokie, I'm going to start recording again and uh, let's do a uh, return to home uh, on, the, uh, on the app. So I'm clicking on that, RTH, 13% battery left. Let's see if this guy will hit the, uh, hit the landing pad here. It is, yeah, it's starting to come down. It looks like it's off the pad and it's got the camera facing forward. So I think we're going to mow a little bit of grass here. Yeah, you can see it on the uh, uh, Action 4 camera right now. Uh, and it looks like it's going to mow some grass. That's all right. That won't hurt anything. So we'll just let it come down and there it is in the grass and uh, one thing you want to remember to do it stopped recording it's still beeping it stopped beeping 11 percent battery let me get it all shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion hey okay the uh, holy stone hs 900 sirius guys i have no clue why i couldn't get those quick shots to work but i couldn't get it to select a target and it just simply didn't work we tried it from all size sides. I tried it from different distances. What you didn't see in this video is I had a battery before and I tried it from very close to me to further away from me at different uh, angles of the gimbal, or, you know, the camera, etc. Uh, and it just wouldn't, I couldn't get it to select a target. So we didn't do any of the quick shots. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, again, I, I looked at uh, Holy Stone's video tutorial. Uh, the manual that comes with the drone doesn't tell you anything about quick shots, but they did have a video tutorial. I couldn't duplicate what they did in that tutorial, so don't know what I did wrong there, uh, or if it's just an issue with the drone, not sure. Uh, if you know, if you watched it and you saw something that I could try different, let me know. Uh, however, what did work uh, is the tracking. The tracking worked quite well, and it's optical tracking, which I like. Uh, and it works in both uh, follow and parallel, plus you can push the drone backwards, plus uh, you can uh, set yourself as a point of interest and you can just do an orbit around yourself with a stick because it holds you as a point of interest. That's pretty handy and that's pretty good. Tells me that it does have some processing power in there, which is kind of mysterious to me why the quick shots didn't work. But in any case, that's a whole other story. We also tried a really quick time lapse, just a three second time lapse. It had to take 75 pictures. It was taking them every three seconds. Now what I don't know is if the drone or the app stitched it all together 
or if I just have a bunch of pictures on the uh, micro SD card that I will have to manually put together uh, in my editor as a, uh, as a time lapse. Either way, we'll show you that time lapse. Hopefully we got some cloud movement back there and it's good that it has that, that feature. Uh, anyway, I guess that's about it. Uh, this is the uh, HS900 Sirius, Holy Stone's little uh, uh, sub-250 drone. Hey, one more thing. I want to give a shout out to uh, our friend Johnny Drone Flyer, who does drones and coffee every Sunday morning. I think he starts at about 6 a.m. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's Sunday morning, central time. I don't know what time he starts. Uh, I'm on mountain time, so it's too early for me. But anyway, uh, drones and coffee, Johnny Drone Flyer. Uh, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out, and if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video, and we will see you on the next one. Uh, the Again, the Holy Stone HS900 Sirius. See you guys later. Bye.